function. Uh, we're seeing the rise of types in functional programming languages like Haskell and Idris. Now SQL has grown out of data log from Prolog uh, from Lisp. Do you see a future for types in making SQL equivalents more robust at compile time and easier to refactor? I guess this maybe is less of an education question, more like a future of programming question. Right, right. I mean, I think that um, I think types will continue to be important. Um, I think there's tons of interesting research, especially uh, of particular interest to me is the gradual typing stuff because that's sort of trying to bridge the fact that I mean a lot of there is the like things like Haskell, which are which really have not broken into the mainstream. The sort of like ML derived approach to types, which is extremely powerful. Um, uh, the, the kinds of guarantees that those systems can give you is like pretty amazing. Um, uh, to some degree, I think Scala is, is has has had some luck bringing that to a wider audience. Um, but I, I I actually think that probably the more fruitful thing will be bringing types to or allowing people to overlay types over what are traditionally dynamic programming languages. Um, I think there's a lot of interesting work to do there. But I actually don't think it's really a question about just types. I mean, I think. Um, a lot of the research around contracts, uh, verification of contracts, uh, around, around, and they even like some of the most interesting stuff is where, where people have to contract from code itself. Like you basically write regular code, and then through analysis, they're able to uh, detect invariant and verify them. Or, you know, point out inconsistency. Um, I mean, it just seems like. Like a lot of things in, in PS, there's a lot more to learn, a lot more work to do. Um, 